LGBT activists sentenced to death by Iran for quote unquote spreading corruption. Two LGBTQ rights activists were sentenced to death in Iran for allegedly promoting homosexuality. Activists Zara uh, Sedidi, Sedigi Ham, uh, Hamadani and Elhan Chobdar were charged with quote unquote corruption on earth, a vague yet lethal charge. Uh, Hamadani, also known as Sere, was arrested in October of last year after being detained by the Iraqi Kurdistan police during her attempt to border, cross the border to Turkey and seek asylum. Iran has intensified its propaganda, accusing Hamadani of running, quote, one of the largest prostitution networks in Erbil, which is in Iraqi Kurdistan. State-run media circulated a video showing footage of nightclubs as evidence that Hamadani and her alleged and her alleged prostitution rings activity. A letter from Amnesty International addressed to um, Golan Hossein Mohseni Ije, the chief justice of Iran, asked for the immediate and unconditional release of Hamadani and called out Iran's arbitrary detentions based on her, quote, real or perceived sexual orientation and gender identity. They called on Iran to quash the convictions and death sentences and release Hamadani and Chobar. Nearly 70,000 people have signed a petition demanding the release of the women, and so you can join in um, signing the petition. The petition should be the first link in the description of this video, but I will also put it in the live chat right now. Um, give me a moment. So I wanted to cover this story because one, it's really important to cover stuff like this. Two, we talked about the arrest of Sere when she was arrested in October of last year. And she was, some of the details are a little bit confusing to me. So my understanding is that she is an Iraqi and she got in huge trouble in Iraq for participating in a BBC documentary about fighting for LGBT rights in her region. And because of the abuse that she was facing there, because of that, she needed to escape. And my understanding is that she was trying to escape through Iran to then go to Turkey. And at, at the Turkish border is when Iranian authorities arrested her and other people that she was with. And she's been in detention since then. She was in solitary confinement for, I think, like 53 days. I mean, obviously she experienced a lot of abuse while in prison because this is just what happens, um, especially because she is a gay woman and very gender non-conforming. She, she's more like much more masculine. Um, the authorities have allegedly threatened to take away custody of her children. And now she's been sentenced to death for promoting homosexuality, for promoting Christianity, for generally spreading corruption on earth. Um, and this is really important to highlight because one, the amount of executions that have been happening in Iran have exploded over the past year under the new president Raisi. But already, even before then, like Iran is one of the top executioners in the world. And people forget that since the Islamic revolution, there have been thousands and thousands of gay people who have been executed in the country simply for being gay or being caught doing a gay thing, like participating in a homosexual act is enough to get you hung by your neck until you suffocate. Um, and people forget this kind of thing. Um, they forget okay. how barbaric it is that you get executed just for being gay. You read the comment here. D is saying she was arrested by the Kurds. Oh yeah, D yes, but also from Elmo. D yes, I I start D for the next comment. Yeah, D. Uh, is that true? She was arrested by the Kurds. So, I believe, I with this arrest. I believe she was arrested by Iranian authorities, but she had been previously ar been arrested by Kurdish authorities, Iraqi Kurdish authorities, due to her previous activism, and that's why she was trying to escape. Oh. I could oh, be okay. wrong. Sometimes the details are conflicting on the different reports that I read, but that's what I understand. But 
I'm open to okay, so, so Elma is saying corruption on earth is the most grandiose surreal charge I've ever heard. This is a famous uh, thing you could get a charge for in Iran, and it refers to a Quranic verse, okay? Um, the thing is that in Iran, you cannot get executed for being a homosexual. Um, you you have to get charged for something else, right? Like, for example, other homosexuals that were charged were either rightfully or just wrongfully accused also of rape um, or child um, abuse um, or this, corruption on earth, okay? And again, sometimes they were just gay um, and they added something on top of it, but sometimes it was also true, like they, for example, raped um, kids and stuff and they were executed for that right but not but there is no like just being gay in iran doesn't get you execution in fact you could go around and say like i'm gay i'm gay i'm gay and nobody can you know the government can't do anything to you uh, because it's not illegal right um so she probably that the, again i don't know if it's true but the pro the issue that she has is that she got too famous right uh, and she became very high profile and she's gay so the accusation to the iranian government is that they have nothing on her other than her being gay like what she has is not enough to execute her so just they're just like adding a whole bunch of stuff that they have no evidence for like in the court they didn't provide any evidence or any claim anything to back up the fact that she's so to prove the corruption on earth, like she has to be promoting degeneracy on a, on a mass scale, right? Which is and why they accused her of running a human prostitution ring. Yeah, which is not like she was not doing that. I mean, the, the claim is that she's not doing that. The claim by the people who are supporting her um, is that this is just nonsense. You just want to get her um, and you're just making stuff up. Like they have videos of her being in a club. I'm like, oh, this is your prostitution ring. You're like the degeneracy. You're like what? degeneracy. Like we're just no. This is not a prostitution ring. Um, I mean, it's easy. A lot of people think like um, a lot of people on that side of the religious mindset think that anybody with this kind of lifestyle um, obviously is doing a whole bunch of other disgusting things in their mind, right? So it's just easy for them to believe. However, there I heard a lawyer, and I don't know on BBC Persian saying that they should be able to get her off this execution okay i don't know again i don't want to bring your hopes up because i don't know if it's true or not but well, this things lawyer can be so was, unpredictable yeah but the lawyer makes it seem like they are not as unpredictable as we think like he's saying that this is just a baseless claim and given given that the court doesn't have anything because a lot of people again i know it's kangaroo courts and iranian um, justice system is not as good as most of the world, but there is some, the, it's not as chaotic as people think. Like there is some order, there is some, yeah, it, 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 if it's not um, anti-regime, there is some order to this chaos. Do you know what I mean? Like there are some structure to it, unless it's a case that is a, a national security issue. You know what I mean? Like people who are anti-regime. Um, in, in that case, then you could, you know, justice is out of the window, right? They will just like frame you for whatever they want, right? But things that are not about national security, there are hope for the people. Like if you get on death row, there's a good chance to get you off unless they, they have deemed that she's a national security threat. Like maybe because of the documentary and stuff and the heavy propaganda against Iranian regime and stuff, they have like they have um, they say like okay this is beyond just degeneracy and we just have to get rid of her in that case she's completely screwed okay uh in that case your petition is very much required you're deciding the petition is very much required uh did you yeah so yeah i so put a put link, link to the petition in the live chat it should also be the top nope. um it should be Sorry. the top link in this video description wherever you're watching this um and in it, you can learn more about what happened to Sarah and also Elham. 
Um, less is known about the case of Elham, but um, she is reportedly a LGBT woman who's also facing these charges. There was another woman associated with their case who, so Elhan is like 24, Sarah I think is maybe 35. And there's another woman who's associated with their case who is about the age of 52, but she hasn't faced any charges yet. Um, and I also wanna highlight the fact that if you are in Germany um, today in Cologne from four to five, so that's in a few hours from now, um, they were doing a protest in Cologne city center to demand the stop or stay of the execution of these two women. And you can go join Mary Namazi, Mina Ahadi and Rana Ahmed at this protest. Um, so I wanted to highlight that if you're in Germany, you still have the opportunity, Cologne, you still have the opportunity to go participate in that, which I think is awesome. Um, and uh, I also wanted to highlight the work of uh, Seshrang for if you want to follow their work on Instagram, just Google six rang Iran. And this is one of the best LGBT Iranian organizations. And they put out a lot of good information. And an update is that there are some reports that Sere has, um, how do I say this for YouTube, attempted to take her own life since hit with this sentence, no. according to their sources as well. And they seem to be the most in touch with these two individuals. Um, so yeah, it says the news of Sere's um, attempted self-deletion has been circulating across social media. According to Seshring's sources, Sere was transferred to hospital two days ago and has since returned to the women's general ward in um, Rumi, Rumie Central Prison. The same sources have confirmed that she is recovering. This unfortunate and heart-wrenching event shows how difficult the death sentences have been for Sere and Elham. It is imminent that we continue our efforts to free them. So this is a story that is evolving very quickly and it is actually very dire. Um, Armin, do you have any general takeaways about kind of, I don't know, the, the noteworthiness of this in terms of the broader issues that gay people face in Iran? Um, I, I want to mention that um, a lot of, uh, some of you might think that these petitions have no influence, but we have seen that the more um, international attention a case gets, the more likely it is for these people to, again, it's not bulletproof, but it, it gives them a higher chance of surviving it, you know, you're not getting executed. So and a high uh, petition, uh, petition that gets a lot big number of signatures that does get the attention of other media outlets right so mm -hmm. you're if you get if you manage to get a, a lot of signature on this more people might cover it and more people covering it means more international attention and more international attention will put pressure on the iranian government to not go with the execution so it, it does have an influence exactly. they do yeah. yeah so again it's again even if it's like a five percent chance uh, it's still worth it. And I saw a lot of people in the uh, live chat saying that they signed it. So thank you so much. Fantastic. Also, I just want yeah. somebody uh, in the live chat is saying, please don't call it being, uh, be, don't call being gay a lifestyle. It's not. I'm talking from their perspective. Like I'm, when I'm, sometimes when I'm speaking, I'm saying they say that people with her lifestyle also must be uh, involved in all form of other degeneracy. I'm putting myself in their mindset. That's not my view, obviously. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. So over 70,000 people have already signed. I would love it if everyone who's watching this also participates. Um, again, the link should be at the very top of wherever you are watching this. And um, yeah, I, I think this is really important to highlight. And don't let other people forget that this is the policy and nature of the Islamic Republic of Iran. So many people try to whitewash, you know, what goes on there or the attitudes you know like this is really the true face of what goes on there so don't let people tell you otherwise yeah get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description